Today, we're looking at the Ellen Chrome Studio app and software. The app is available for Android, iOS, macOS, and Windows, and allows you to easily control Ellen Chrome units from your computer or mobile device, but also to save and load setups. In this video, we'll cover the Android mobile version, but most of the features are available for the other platforms. To connect the app with your Ellen Chrome setup, you need a dedicated Ellen Chrome bridge. The bridge enables you to connect your units to your device. On more recent units, like the Ellen Chrome One, the bridge is already built in. That means the unit can act itself as a bridge. In other words, if you have a One in your Ellen Chrome setup, you can make the studio software and app work right out of the box. Before opening the app, make sure your mobile device or your computer has Bluetooth turned on. Also, enable Bluetooth on your bridge or your One. As a side note, always make sure your bridge or One has been updated to its latest firmware. When you open the app, the following screen will appear. First, select the bridge module you wish to use. Then, select the same Skyport channel as your Ellen Chrome units and click Scan. The app will scan and detect which units are in your setup. Let's first take a look at the main menu. As you can see, we have a Home button that brings you back to the Skyport channel with the Scan button. In case you need to rescan your units for any reason, this can be convenient. Then we have the Group section. If you tap All Groups, you'll see an overview of all your units. If you select a specific group, only the units of that group will appear and be controlled. The next section is the Scene feature. It allows you to save your actual setting or load previously stored settings. We'll come back to this later on. The last button is the Settings menu. There, you'll be able to restore help messages, arrange your unit list by alphabetical order, control your data privacy, and check your app ID. Under Settings, you'll notice Bluetooth and Skyport indicators. These will let you know the status of your connection with the bridge. Let's go back to our main screen. In this screen, each unit's group can be identified by its color. You can also check each unit's power and connectivity quality. At the bottom of the screen, you have the main controls. You can choose if you want to control the flash power output or the modeling lamp. This allows you to control all units simultaneously. In the Power section, you can turn the standby status on or off for all units. You can adjust the power in a tenth of f-stops or you can use the slider to go up and down in larger increments. You can make a flash test by pressing the trigger button and all your units will flash. Lastly, you can turn the ready beep on or off. In the lamp section, you can switch all your units to on or off. You may also decide if you want to set your modeling lamps to proportional or free. You may have noticed you can select one or multiple units from this screen. This can be helpful if you want to change the power of one or multiple units at once and not all together. For example, if you check these two units, you're only able to control the two you selected all your other units won't change value. Another nice feature is that you can change a unit's group very quickly just by grabbing the unit in the colored box and moving it to another group. You can go deeper into the unit settings by clicking on the unit. A new screen will open. Here you'll find additional information like the battery level. You can also adjust your power settings much more precisely not only in the Ellen Chrome value, but in watt seconds or joules. Additional settings like enabling photo cell, standby, and audio is also possible here. 
Besides, this is the place where you can go to adjust the recycling speed of your unit. To make a test flash, just tap on the unit image. If you click on the unit's name, you can edit or give a new name to your flash unit. As you can see, there is a small information icon. This button will bring you to a new window with information related to firmware status, the unit ID, flash counter, and the number of flash sessions. Now, let's go back to the scene feature. In this screen, you'll notice that we already have two saved scenes. If you click on Scene Setup B, you'll see that all the units will immediately turn to a precise value that we've decided earlier in our setup. This feature can save you a lot of time if you generally use the same lighting setups and modifiers. You can also save a setup anytime during your shoot. To do so, you just need to go to the main screen and click on the first button on the top right corner. When you click this button, the app will ask you to name your setup. And if you need it, you can also add an image, like a sketch of your setup or add a description. To put your lights back to the same settings, just click on the scene name and the settings will go back to exactly what they were when you saved the scene. Before we end this presentation, we have two last buttons to cover, the Auto Refresh button and the Refresh button. If you click on the Refresh button, the app will scan for new units in the studio. It will also refresh the settings that are stored on the units, like the flash counter and refresh the connection indicators. You can also click on the Auto Refresh button and let the app scan and refresh units continuously. For better performances when using your transmitter, we recommend to switch back to manual refresh. You now know all there is to know about the Ellen Chrome Studio app and software. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to share the fantastic work you'll shoot with the help of the app. And be sure to subscribe to Ellen Chrome's channel for more tips on how to use your Ellen Chrome's gear.